Israel's military took aim at a refugee camp in Gaza for the second day in a row, claiming that Hamas targets are in that area. As CBS's Natalie Brand reports, it comes as some injured Palestinians are getting much needed medical help. Ambulances carried injured Palestinians across the border into Egypt for treatment Wednesday morning, while hundreds of foreign passport holders were also permitted to leave Gaza, some on foot, others in buses. U.S. diplomatic sources say Qatar brokered the deal between Egypt, Israel and Hamas for the first limited evacuations from Gaza. A Palestinian Authority spokesperson says 81 badly injured people will be treated. The latest developments come as Israel intensifies its attacks in Gaza. IDF missiles hit a densely populated refugee camp just two miles south of the border. Hamas claims many civilians were killed and injured, while Israel says it targeted and killed a Hamas commander and other militants and destroyed a tunnel complex. Here in Washington, there's a political battle over funding for Israel. The Republican-led House wants a standalone bill for Israeli aid, but President Biden has said he'll veto any bill that doesn't also include additional money for Ukraine. Many senators from both parties also want to keep the funding together. It would be a huge mistake to separate this package, and we've got to have strong border provisions, so I will not support separation of the package. The Biden administration is also closely monitoring any developments concerning the more than 200 hostages, including a number of Americans. A spokesman for Hamas claims the group will begin to release foreign hostages in coming days, though Israeli officials say there's no hostage deal in sight. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.